Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of YSL's Mon Paris. So I wasn't quite sure at first if I was actually going to review this perfume or not, um, but I posted on Instagram that I was able to get it, and a lot of people um, asked for me to review it, so I figured I would review it. So, the box looks like this, and it says, it's got the big YSL logo in the back, and then it says... Mon Paris here in kind of like a gold embossed logo. And it says You Saint Laurent on the bottom. Eau de Parfum Spray Naturalizer. Uh, 3 ounces and 90 milliliters. It's kind of like a baby pink color on the front with this high gloss black YSL. Um, and then the size have these kind of, it's black. But it's also got like a, almost like a vinyl texture to it. Um, one side does have some of the like listed notes and then the other side's just black and then the bottom's just black and then the back's baby pink with all like the barcodes and everything on it. The bottle looks like this and is gorgeous in my opinion. Um, so it's kind of this big um, cube but it's also kind of bezeled on every edge and kind of different. Um, it's got this black bow on it and then it's also got the YSL logo on the bow. I can. We got the YSL logo there. There's also a YSL logo on the lid. It's just a beautiful, beautiful bottle, and I love how detailed it is. So this fragrance, I will preface by saying I love this fragrance. Um, it is very different from anything else I have in my entire collection, um, but it's in a good way. It does things that I don't. I've never had a fragrance do. So first off, with the notes, it's got top notes of bergamot, strawberry, raspberry, pear. Middle notes are Datura Flower, um, Peony, Jasmine Sandback, Chinese ja Jasmine, Orange Blossom, three different types of Crystal White Musk, um, Ambroxan, and Indonesian um, Patchouli, Guatemalan Patchouli, and Cypress. So, I am obsessed with this fragrance. I've been wearing it so much lately. And what's cool about this fragrance is, unlike almost any other fragrance I have, it has what I've been calling the top, the top mid, the mid, the base mid, and then the base. And then the base, which really cool, is it kind of takes those previous three or four layers and combines them into one big layer. When you first spray it, you definitely get that kind of burst of the strawberry. But I also feel like the pear is kind of in there. Um, kind of adding almost a Christmas to the fragrance. If you don't like pear in a fragrance, you probably won't like this fragrance because it is on the more noticeable side, which pear isn't normally something... As I dropped my tester. Normally something you smell in fragrances. The patchouli is there, but it's not like a heavy, dark patchouli. It's actually kind of a different type of patchouli. And I think it's because it's the two different types and they're mixing together along with the three different types of musk. Create this different kind of base that I've never really smelled before. Um, I feel like you do get a little bit of bergamot and a little bit of the raspberry, but it's definitely the strawberry and the pear and the top that are standing out. When you get down the dry down, the peony is the standout note of this fragrance. I definitely am getting the peony. I get the jasmine because there is two different types of jasmine in this as well. So it is a very beautiful jasmine-y middle, um, but it's definitely very nice. Um, as it starts to dry down, you get to that mid-base, I would, what I call it, you can get the patchoulis in there. Um, but it's very short-lived in that kind of like that middle, what I'm calling the mid-base. Because it's very quickly taken over by this kind of concoction of the entire fragrance that kind of comes together. And creates this amazing layers of fragrance that I've never really smelled before. And what was really cool was when I sprayed this on my wrist, within the first like 15 minutes of me wearing it, the fragrance changed three different times instantly. And like, like there were noticeable differences every single time. And then finally it kind of dried down to this base so that was just amazing. This is annoying me. My phone is how I can control this whole thing. And it, my Wi-Fi likes to disconnect off my phone. Like it's just my phone that connects disconnect from the Wi-Fi. And it does this where it'll like disconnect from here and it loses its signal. So whatever. Um... But definitely, I feel like this is a any one signature say, fragrance. It could be a day fragrance. It could be a night fragrance. It does definitely change. Um, I've worn it day and night, and it definitely does change both day and night. Um, 
the more humid it out is out, and the more of the fruits that come out, and the less humid it is, the more the florals come out. Um, I've experienced both of those so far since having this. Um, definitely would say this is kind of an upper 20s fragrance, 30s. It's younger, but it's not... I wouldn't say this would be like teeny bopper, younger fragrance. I wouldn't preface this and say it's older, but I would say that this is kind of the transition fragrance if you were to go from your normal celebrity, you know, those the fruity, floral, sweet fragrances into designer which are you know generally more on the white florals and heavier i think this is definitely a good transition fragrance um and it is very beautiful it's definitely not something that's going to make me want to go to designer fragrances anytime soon but i definitely love the ysl mon paris um i did actually pick up black opium as well just because that was another fragrance i feel like ysl is doing really really good with fragrances recently and it's just been gorgeous on at least two of their most recent pillar launches i've loved seeing where they go to. So, Lasting Power, I get about almost 10 hours of Lasting Power out of this fragrance. It lasts forever on me. So, um, I definitely say it is a springtime scent, but definitely could be worn all year round as well. So, there you guys go. There's my review of Mon Paris by Yusei Laurent. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If not, do what you do. Um, comment down below for future requests of videos, and as always, follow me on Twitter, Ada's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. Bye!